today we're going to be given values and we're going to find angles. So let's start with cosine theta is equal to one half. And we're asked what is that angle? So there's a very easy way to do this. One is to memorize the full table of trig values for every increment of 30 and 45 degrees. And that's a little bit crazy. So instead, we're just going to draw all of our triangles that we know on each question and we'll figure it out from there. So for this one, I'm going to need the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So cosine of theta, where can I get one half? Well, if I take 60 degrees, I get adjacent over hypotenuse is equal to one half. So this is going to be cosine of 60 degrees. Now, this is not the only answer. So theta is equal to 60 degrees. And if we remember our chart here for where is cosine positive, we see it's positive in the first quadrant and it's positive in the fourth quadrant. So where is the reference angle going to be in the fourth quadrant of exactly 60 degrees? Well, that is going to be when theta is 300 degrees. So each question here is going to have two values. It's going to have one in one quadrant and another in a different quadrant. So you have to draw out your cast diagram as well as your triangle that's going to be required to solve the question. So that's a good example. Let's do another one. Sine theta is one over root two. Okay, so this is going to need the 45, 45 triangle. So we have one, one root two. And again, this is 45 degrees. Doesn't matter where we take it. We know that theta has to be 45 degrees. So now that we know it's 45 degrees, we should ask, well, where else is sine positive? So let's draw our little chart here, C-A-S-T. Oh, it's also positive in quadrant two. So this would have to be 90 plus 45 degrees. So that's also going to be at 135 degrees there. So again, if you take the reference angle there, this reference angle is also going to be 45 degrees. So we just need to figure out what number that angle is. So sine is positive one over root two at 45 degrees and at 135 degrees. Now here's tangent of negative one over root three. Do this yourself. So pause the video, do this yourself. And I'll explain the answer here in just a second. Okay, hopefully you had enough time. So, well, you had an infinite amount of time because this is a a video that is possible. So let's draw a triangle here. We have our 60, 30, 90 triangle here. So to get opposite over adjacent equal to one over root three, we need to take 30 degrees as our reference angle. Okay. So where is tangent negative? Well, it's negative in quadrant two and quadrant four. So we want reference angles of 30 degrees. So we want these two angles here. And we know this is 180, this is 360. So if we have a 30 degree reference angle. That means that this angle must be 150 degrees. And this angle must be 330 degrees. Therefore, our value of theta that makes tan theta negative one over root three is going to be 150 degrees and 330 degrees. And of course, again, we're finding the negative value in quadrant two and quadrant four because tangent is negative there. If this were positive one over root three, we would look in quadrant one and quadrant three for our answer because that is where tangent is positive. All right. Let's do another one here. Cosine theta is equal to zero. 
Okay, this is going to require not a triangle, but another diagram. This is the diagram that states that x, y is the same thing as cosine theta, sine theta. So when is x equal to zero? That's what this question is asking. When is our x value equal to zero? So when is it on this line here? Well, the angle's on this line at 90 degrees, and it's on this line at 270 degrees. Therefore, our theta is going to be 90 and 270. So this one's not too bad. This is one of those ones that you could just memorize from a chart, but it's always good to visualize it. Here's another one. Tangent of theta is equal to 1. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, how can we do this? Well, we can say that sine theta over cosine theta is equal to 1. And then we could find when sine theta and cosine theta are equal to each other. But to be consistent, we should probably do it an easier way and take a look at a triangle here, the 45 degree triangle, and we see that 45 degrees is going to be acceptable. Now because it's positive, we take a look and we say, okay, it's positive in the first quadrant and the third quadrant, so we want this angle between 180 and 270, where the reference angle is 45 degrees. So that's 180 plus 45, which is 225. So that's 225 degrees. All right, that's it. That is finding your angles from the values given. Now, of course, if you want to do this on your own, you can create practice questions very easily. What you do is you look at your table and you just pick a value. And then what you do is with that value, just reverse engineer. And what you should find, which is interesting, is that when you pick a value and you reverse engineer it, you will always get two solutions. Because there are four quadrants, and in two of those quadrants, you're going to get the same value. So this is a way you can practice. And as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I will answer them as quickly as I possibly can.